authority, all that stuff in the past life. But here you seem to need your weapon, your sword, you know, I don't see your shield. So you don't have that. You feel somewhat unprotected in some of these areas. Everybody, and what we're doing today is a nice three card spread. And I'm going to do a past, present, and future. And the way that I do my past, present, and future is what is actually part of the past, your past. This reading may be for, it's a general reading. You can book me to get more of a personal intake on these categories. Um... So the past is what's pertaining to something that happened in your past. What did you actually bring with you now? Um, your present, what's going on with you now? And the future is always an open door. It is not, you know, um, stagnant, meaning it's not um, always what's really going to occur. It always depends on what road you take. Um, what lanes you decide to travel and the way that you decide to travel. So the future is always an open book. This is just this would just be one of your possibilities. So look at the future space as one of your possibilities. And again, I repeat, this is a general reading, you know, male or female, masculine or feminine. You can always book me for a more in-depth personal reading. That information is in the description. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll place one here, put it over to the side so we can kind of see that it's for the past, put it to the side where we can kind of see that it's for the present, and put it right here so we can kind of see that it's for the future. So, what is part of your past? You was royalty. And this one actually has something to do with males have something to do with your dealings with males a lot of masculine energy in your past in one of your past lives a lot of masculine energy you had a distrustful um streak of you if you can see the horse it's like looking backwards like it doesn't trust someone close to them that's what that's what the horse represents um you was wealthy actually in your past life you was into nature via the green. Um, and you was actually into a little occult and esoteric via the wreath that's right there. And you was actually really well, um, let me see, what is the word? I'm looking for a specific word. Um, you was advanced, more like an alchemist, you know? You was loved by the people. As you can see, they're actually um, cheering you on. You was very creative, very creative spirit. Um, you loved creating things. You loved building things. Um, and you loved the admiration for from outside sources as well. But you had a certain thing to you that a lot of emotion was carried around you. And a lot of emotion may have been carried into your present life. Now look at this. You're used to having wealth. You're used to being at the top via the crown. You're used to having that. You are, you may be more so trying to stick to a straight narrow. Um, you have a lot of guides, a lot of things that's actually here to help you because unlike this one, your blue, far as all your emotions can sometimes get jaded here. You lack that. You don't have a whole lot of, you know, the things that was kind of like balancing you out. You was in this life to me. That's what it looks like. You're balanced. You was into nature. You had the love of the people. You was building. You was creating. You was royalty. All that stuff in the past life. But here you seem to need your weapon, your sword, you know. I don't see your shield. So you don't have that. You feel somewhat unprotected in some of these areas. But your guides is there. You can see it right here to give you all the power and force that you need. Um... 
So let me go to see what, what's your possible future. Okay, it says the Empress. Fertility, growth, and instead of just having just um, emotion in one of the past life, you are risen to the sun. You see all the yellow behind her. Um, love, meaning Venus. Um, fertile, meaning growth. Um, what else do I see on this card? Very comfortable, um, sustained, secure, and look at that crown on the head, you know? You're used to having some type of wealth. And maybe in this life, if you don't have that, it may be a little hard for you to actually be settled with that, to be okay with that, because you're used to coming from a wealthy space. Um, the road that you're traveling on now, I believe that your spirits is going to give you advice on which way you can go to get to this point if you're not already there. But that is your destiny. You're supposed to always be there because even in your past, your present, all that stuff adds up to let me know that you're used to having authority.